Do you want to do it the free way or do you want to do it the fast way? I come across that question all the time because I can do things the free way and manually and figure it out in DaVinci Resolve, but sometimes it's worth paying a few dollars to get things done a little bit quicker. Today's video is sponsored by Riverside and I've been using their service to take long form content like my DaVinci Resolve podcast and have Riverside automatically chop it down into vertical short form video. So that way I don't have to spend the time doing that. I can move on to other things like creating more awesome videos for you guys. So let's just jump in Resolve real quick and I'm gonna show you what we're working with. So in Resolve here, I've got my DaVinci Resolve podcast rendered out. Now, when I upload it to YouTube, I have a bunch of chapters here where I talk about different questions. So each chapter is a different question that I'm answering from you guys. And the long form thing is great, but if I wanted to cut up some of those questions and pull them out as vertical form, format, put them up as shorts or TikToks or whatever it might be. I could do it here in Resolve, but it's going to take me some time. So that's where Riverside comes in. So right here is my account on Riverside. And all I have to do is take my video that I already created, that I've already uploaded to YouTube. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say upload. I'm going to drag and drop my file in there. I'm going to say upload. Riverside is going to upload that file for me. And then once it's up there, I'm going to show you how we can take that file, say, hey, make it into some vertical short form content. And then I'm going to be able to download that and use that as shorts or TikToks or reels or whatever you guys want to use your vertical video for. Depending on the size of your file, it may take a little while to process. And mine still actually says 99%, but I do now have the option to scroll down and under edits right here, I have magic clips. So this is going to have Riverside automatically create some of that short form content for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and click generate clips. And then we get several options that we can choose right here. We've got magic clips. We can do auto under 30 seconds, 30 to 60, um, one to a minute and a half or a minute and a half to three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that option. Now focus on the speaker. Now, because you can record podcasts and multiple speakers and all that kind of cool stuff uh, right here on Riverside, you can have multiple speakers auto detected, but in this case, it's just me. So I'm going to leave it on auto. That's fine. And any kind of keywords you might want to put in here that might help the AI decide where to make cuts and stuff, you could pop it in here. It's going to hit generate clips and then it's going to do its thing. It's finding the best moments. It may take a little while depending on how long your video is, how, you know, how much uh, stuff you got in there. So just give it some time and let it come up with whatever it thinks is good. It's going to automatically create the captions for you as well as uh, get the video in there and then you can take a look at it and see if you want to make any changes. So I'm going to give this a second and I'll come back and see what it comes up with. And just a quick note too, if you take a look on the webpage here, you can also add captions and remove silences to the full episode. If you want to keep the video long and you just want to cut out the silences you might have in there, uh, or add in captions like you see on lots of videos, right? Whether it's long form, short form, whatever, you can put captions in there. Uh, you can use that option or you could just do it completely from scratch where you can use the words to select, you know, different portions of your video and stuff. So after you give Riverside a few minutes here, you're going to see a bunch of magic clips pop up here and you're going to be able to see how long they are by looking at the bottom of the, each little clip here. And they are going to be labeled for you. Now you can change the label if you want, but here we've got, uh, let's see how many, let's show all how many they have here. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven clips here that we can get started with. And if you want to take a look at it and see what we got, I'm going to just click on the first one here. I'm going to say edit. Then that's going to bring up our little editing window here for us. Now we can play through it. And the way it kind of works is that it looks through the transcript that it creates and it'll select a section and create a short form video out of that. So you can see down at the bottom of the screen here, we've got our audio along with our video. On the left here, we have our text that tells us what we're saying in the video. So if we wanted to get rid of words or, you know, change a section or something, we can just select a part, hit delete, and it'll take that part out. It's pretty sweet. So let's take a look at how this one looks so far. Now, if you want to tell Resolve where to save uh, your backups and stuff, I'm going to cancel that. We're going to go to DaVinci Resolve Preferences. And in Preferences, you... All right, not too bad. Now, you can come over here and you have an AI producer on the right-hand side here. You can set the pace. You can smooth out the speech. You can magic mute or do magic audio to enhance the audio if you'd like to. You have different tracks here. So like I said, I was the only one talking in this particular video. So it's just me right there. You can add in a background or a logo. Let's just grab one of these uh, preset ones here. Let's say, 
I just pick this one right here. You can also pick a color or upload your own background if you want. You could add in some music if you'd like to. Got captions, you can change them to different styles. And all you have to do is click on it and Riverside's gonna do all the work for you, right? You don't have to spend your time creating these things. It's gonna just put it all in there for you. So let's say now I like this one, I'm gonna click on that. You can make it a little bit bigger or smaller if you want to. Maybe I wanna move it to the top of the screen because I know there's gonna be you know, a title and description and stuff happening down at the bottom so I can put it up at the top of the screen. I can make it a little bit bigger. You can adjust it however you'd like. You've got different fonts and just everything's really quick. You can upload image or video or audio files to use if you want. There's other images here that you can use, but a lot of stuff that's super quick and easy and you don't even have to do any of this if you want. You could just use it as it's created right in the beginning there. You also have text over here if you wanted to add in a title or label the speaker, different styles. It's all done for you. All you have to do is click the one that you want. And if you want to change the format of the video clip here, you can just come to the top, click on this drop down. You got 16 by nine, nine by 16, which is our vertical video, one by one, or you could do the audio only. It's up to you, whatever you need, real quick and easy, just click the one that you want. Now let's say I listen through it and I want to get rid of this last little part here. In order to delete it, all I have to do is select the words that I want to get rid of, and then I'm going to hit the backspace key or your delete button. And now it takes that right out of the video for me. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's pretty sweet. If you wanted to change the layout of your video. So right now it's just horizontal inside my vertical video. I can just select my video. I can come down to edit scene. And then I've got layout right here. I can select the layout and I can make it full screen. So now if I come back to the beginning and play through it, if you want to tell Resolve where to save uh, your backups and stuff, I'm going to cancel that. We're going to go to DaVinci Resolve preferences. And there we go. You can move your text around. Maybe now I need it down at the bottom, you know, a little lower because it's kind of in the way up here. We can move it around wherever we want it to be. Once you're happy with setting up your video, all you got to do is come up to export. And then you've got options on how you can export it out of Riverside. So I want video, right? I'm going to go video quality. I'm going to go 1080. You do have some other options here, but for vertical videos, 1080 is perfectly fine. I don't want any watermark on there. You can uh, normalize your audio levels, but if you're working with a video that has already been edited, you don't need to use your normalized audio levels or your remove background noise because you should have already done that in DaVinci Resolve. And if you're not sure how to do any of that, I've got videos on all that stuff to show you how to do it. And then you just go ahead and hit export video. So once those videos are exported and it's complete, you're gonna see this right here. And when you hover over any one of your clips that you've exported from Riverside here, you're gonna see a little download button. You can go ahead and download that, or you could just grab the link or just share it if you wanted to do that. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click the download link. It'll download it to your downloads folder. Then you can just go to YouTube, upload it as a short, go over to TikTok, upload it over there send it up to Instagram as a reel or wherever you might want to put it. So now it's up to you to decide, do you want to go the free version and take a lot of time to do it? Or do you want to go the fast version? Now, Riverside does have a free plan that is $0. So you can try that out. They also have a plan that's $19 and then one that's $29 a month. So depends on how much vertical video you're doing. Depends whether you need a new video conferencing solution for your calls or maybe your podcast that you're running. Riverside gives you the opportunity to record on both ends. So you over there would get a recording i'd get a recording it's going to be top notch high quality audio and video and then you can download that and edit it together for your podcast or maybe it's just a meeting and you're looking for you know a better video conferencing app because let's be honest we've all used certain ones out there and they're not always the best right when it comes to your video and audio quality but riverside top notch uh, i've used it for a while before and uh, now i'm using it to create shorts and stuff and it just speeds up the process for me so if it's something that you're interested in i'll leave a link in the description below you can check it out if you have any questions feel free to ask i'll answer them the best that i can and uh, thank you to riverside for sponsoring today's video and now it's just up to you to decide do you want to go free or do you want to go fast? All right, I will see you in the next video. Peace.